Welcome to today's edition of The Good, The Bad and The Ugly, especially curated from the world of economy and business today. I'll start with the bad. Despite the government and the Selcos tom-toming about India's massive 4G expansion, a report has now said that India's 4G speeds are among the lowest in the world. At 6 megabits per second, it is lower than even Pakistan, Algeria and Kazakhstan. Singapore has the best 4G speeds in the world at 44 Mbps as compared to India's 6. And then there are other Nordic countries, Netherlands, Norway, where the speeds are in the region of 40 to 44 percent. Even South Korea has 4G speeds of a minimum of 40 Mbps. This survey was conducted between October 1 and December 29 of last year. Telcos are blaming this on small holdings of spectrum that in India they hold only about 25 megahertz of spectrum against 50 odd megahertz that telcos hold in developed countries. However, now that spectrum sale and spectrum purchase is in the open market, this is hardly an excuse. That's what makes this bad. On to the ugly. The government is only now coming to grips with the scale and the scope of the PNB fraud. The Director General of Foreign Trade has only now ordered investigation against Nirav Modi and Mehul Chokshi's Gitanjali Gems to figure out whether they had been violating foreign trade guidelines, especially about duty exemption and remission on sales. Also, the Enforcement Directorate has now asked Securities Exchange Board of India to freeze the equity holding of Mehul Chokshi in Gitanjali Gems. However, that's far from sufficient. The family owned 28% in Gitanjali Gems, of which almost 78% had already been pledged. The other big worry for the government is, how much more money will Punjab National Bank require to keep afloat after the PNB hit? The government was supposed to recapitalize Punjab National Bank to the tune of 5,470 crore under the 2,11,000 crore recapitalization program. However, the government will now have to figure out how much more money PNB will require over and above this amount. That's what makes this ugly. Now to the good. The Employees Provident Fund organization has announced that it's going to pay an interest of 8.55% during this fiscal to its 5 crore account holders. This is 10 basis points lower than last year. However, that's not too bad, considering that the current rate of interest in the banking system is between 4 to 6%. So even though this is a 5-year low for EPFO, in general, it is a far better rate of interest that any account holder will get outside of EPFO. If you enjoyed watching this content, please like us on our Facebook page. Our Facebook page www.facebook.com slash business today. Follow Business Today on Twitter India at BT underscore India and subscribe to our YouTube channel Business Today India.